A big hello from me at Paul Rolls Nice and welcome to a new video. Now I am in hyper fixation mode thanks to moving into a new job and I work in a hobby store. I get to play card games, board games and it got me talking with some of our locals about a game that I did play at launch but kind of fell off with for whatever reason. So we're, uh, we're opening some stuff today and that is Keyforge. Now this is the two player starter set for the Worlds Collide Keyforge set. Now it is an older set, it came out in 2019 but this set is dirt cheap and it's all about dinosaurs and we love that. So I thought since I'm playing it with a few people down at the store now, why not get a two player set, check out the decks and uh, take a look inside this thing. Now Keyforge was created by Richard Garfield, uh, the creator of Magic the Gathering. Now if you don't know anything about Keyforge, here's a quick summary. You do not buy booster packs, you buy full, complete decks and you play with those. If you don't like the deck, you just buy another deck, I guess. It's it's real, It's real. a cheap game, to be honest. It's not um, It's not as uh, pay-to-win as the other trading card games. It can get pay-to-win if you're one of those people who wants to buy a meta deck. But me, I'm playing very casually. That's why I'm playing with a set from four years ago. The dinosaurs and the purple colour kind of drew me in. So we'll take a look at the two-player starter set. And if you guys do like this content, I do have more Keyforge ideas in the pipeline if you'd like to see that. So let me know in the comments. So uh, this is a two-player set, World Collide. Let's have a look at what we get in this. In this exciting game where no two decks are alike, two players race to forge keys to unlock the hidden vaults of the Crucible. With an incredible array of creatures, artifacts and abilities, each deck is a one of a kind and no two battles will ever be the same. Two new houses join the fray. So in the original Keyforge there were six houses, kind of like colours in Magic the Gathering, red, blue, green, you know. Um, so this adds two new ones into it. Um, Worlds Collide features 284 new cards, creating an entirely new pool of unique decks for you to discover, explore and master nice 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 so inside it we get two decks which is good uh, six key tokens um the amber tokens which are the currency of the game damage tokens status counters chain trackers that's like key forger's uh way to to nerf uh op decks because these decks are obviously ai generated i think that's how the algorithm works um, and some of them will naturally be more powerful than others so the chain system is a really cool way to do that uh, but i won't go into how to play the game anyway we're just going to look at the stuff uh, quick start rule book and two poster play mats very very nice the art is cool we love dinosaurs let's get into it so we have tokens lots of tokens these are the keys uh, each player gets uh, three keys. As I said before, the aim is to forge keys. So you forge three keys and you win. Damage tokens, amber tokens for currency. These are rage tokens, which effectively just make monsters uh, unable to do anything else other than attack. Very nice. Nice, thick cardstock. We do love cardstock. These are the chain trackers. Uh, we have ward tokens, making monsters immune for a certain amount of time. Stun tokens, making them useless for a turn. Really cool. Uh, there is a quick guide now the the main rule book the master rule book is a pdf um on the fantasy flight website or maybe elsewhere now because this this was a set that came out four years ago and i think fantasy flight sold off the rights to keyforge to, to some other company now these are the paper mats they're not as nice as the proper mats um but let's have a look at one anyway let me unfold one it would be nice to get a, a real mat at some point so we have uh, there's your battle line, which is, is essentially monsters in Magic the Gathering or Yu-Gi-Oh! And then artifacts, again, that's where you put lands in Magic the Gathering or spells and traps in Yu-Gi-Oh! I'm just trying to give people reference if they've never seen or heard Keyforge. Uh, deck, discard pile, archives, and then that's where you put your keys as well. That's pretty cool. Nice artwork. So, back to... Where are we? So, these are the unique decks. Now, these decks exist nowhere else that's the cool thing about this game each deck has three of the houses as well uh this untamed and saurian this is the new house the dino house that's what i'm looking forward to checking out and playing with and then we have brobna they're like red in magic like the big hitters um it's like shadows or something uh like stealthy kind of ones and then untamed are uh greens in magic essentially elves bears animals that kind of stuff now these these images here are also generated with the deck. This is the Archon. That's essentially who you are or who you, who you are channeling whilst you play these games. And again, these images are all unique and all different. So our first deck is called Yara Substicorp from the Boar's Capital. Wow. And we have 
Xanth Jagwheel's Officer. Now, I will flip these over, and each deck comes with a deck list, so you can keep track of all 36 cards in your deck, 12 for each house. And again, they are unique. There is a QR code on these decks, which I will be covering, because I will be registering these on my Keyforge Master Vault account, and that will let the world know that these decks have been found by, by me, and I own these decks as well. So these are all of the cards, like I said, 12 for each of them. I'm very new getting back into Keyforge, so I'm not going to be able to look at a card and go, oh my god, it's got this. But symbolism's kind of similar to other card games. Circle is common, we've got a diamond for uncommon, and we've got rare. And I think there is another symbol on the other deck. Let me just have a look. I don't really know what it means. Where is it? There. Card called Toad. I'm not sure what it is, but let's bust this one open first and see what we've got. Okay, so... We are looking at Xanth Jagwheel's Officer. So that's the, the card list. And we will start with these. So untamed cards first. We have... Oh, so that is Toad there. Toad cannot reap. Reaping allows you to tap your creature and gain a piece of amber. Um, hmm. I wonder why he's so cool with that symbol. Interesting. Uh, we have Xenos Blood Shadow. Elusive, Hazardous 6, Poison and Skirmish. So elusive means uh, the first time you are attacked in a turn, you take no damage. Hazardous 6 means when you are attacked, you deal 6 damage to your opponent before you even go into combat. Poison, that's a new feature I need to look at. And Skirmish is the first time you attack, you take no damage. Oh, no, no, sorry. When you attack, you take no damage. So the only way to kill that creature is by doing other keyword abilities like Hazardous or there's one called Assault. That's insane. That is that is a monster of a card. Uh, Pampaka Jagger. Uh, skirmish again so when it attacks it receives nothing creatures to the left of pampaka jagger in the battle line gain skirmish so your battle line is all of your monsters so if you put this at the end of the battle line on the left everyone else gains a bonus to damage that's pretty cool uh fangtooth cavern it does have an amber there so you gain an amber as soon as you play this card at the end of your turn it destroyed the least powerful creature that's a blessing and a curse because that could affect you as well um an action card the fittest gain an amber on play each friendly creature Give each friendly creature a plus one power counter. So you play action cards and then discard them. So it's a one-time use. Rust Noah, I have seen this cat. God, the artwork so nice. Uh, when you fight, destroy an artifact. Uh, if that artifact had an amber bonus, you gain that much. Jesus. Uh, Mustic Mermook, I've seen this one as, as well. Really good card. Uh, so it's four damage, zero defense. Each player's keys cost plus one amber. So when you're in the game and you forge keys, it costs six amber. So six resource. That forces both players to only be able to forge when they've got seven. On play, deal four damage to a creature. Now, because that's not combat damage, that is a keyword, that would get through elusive skirmish and stuff like that. So that's really good. Molefin, that's a cool looking shark. Uh, hazardous three, so before this creature is attacked, deal three damage to the enemy. Again, really good. After amber is stolen from you, deal a damage to each enemy creature for each stolen amber. Heck, imprinted mermook. So that's like an upgraded mermook compared to that one. Um, elusive takes no damage first time it's dealt your keys cost minus one ah so that costs more that costs minus one so if they're both on the field it bl it cancels each other out uh, ghost hawk again a, uh, a creature uh, deploy this creature can enter anywhere on your battle line so normally when when you're playing monsters to the field on your battle line you can only place them on a flank which is far left far right but this can go anywhere in between and there will be reasons to do that with certain cards uh, cauldron boil action card uh, we have on play a deal damage to each creature equal to the amount of damage on that creature another cauldron boil so that is all of untamed now we are on house shadow uh, or shadows i need to remember that one play steal all but six of your opponent's amber jesus that'd be good in the late game if they're hoarding for some reason subtle mall artifact your opponent discards a random card from their hand Yancey Gang, steal an amber as an action, so you can uh, tap the card sideways, ready it, uh, exhaust it, sorry. Uh, Umbra, creature, skirmish, fight, steal an amber. Another one, steal an amber. Ronnie, wrist clocks, on play, steal an amber. If your opponent has seven or more, steal two, that's really cool. Pestering Blow, gain an amber for you, isn't it? It's an action card, deal a damage to a creature and enrage it, give it an enrage to uh, token. Chimera Eclipse is an action card as well. Uh, shuffle each flank creature into its owner's deck. That's cool. Hugger Mugger, elusive. On play, capture an amber. Then if your opponent has more forge keys and you steal an amber, that is really good. I'm currently on a big loss streak at the minute at work. Um, so I need a new deck. This could be an interesting one. Hit and run, deal two to a creature. Return a creature to your hand. 
bad penny, return bad penny to your hand when destroyed. That is really hecking good. Um, reap, deal one to a creature. Uh, if this damage destroys that creature, your opponent discards a random card. A vinder. Cool. Right, that's all of Shadow. So now we're on Brobnar. These are like the red ones in Magic, like hitters, goblins, um, giants, trolls, that kind of stuff. Gain an amber. Uh, after a creature is played, put a fuse counter on the big one. If there are 10 or more fuse counters on the big one, destroy each creature and artifact. Oh my god. Uh, Ragnarok. Uh, alpha. I think... I'm trying to remember what alpha means. I think alpha means you've got to play this before anything else happens on the turn. Uh, for the remainder of the turn, creatures cannot reap and you gain one amber whenever a friendly creature fights. At the end of the turn, destroy each creature. Damn. Cyber Giant Rig. This creature gains. At the end of your turn, this creature loses plus one power counter. On play, fully heal this creature and give it a plus one power counter for each damage healed. Okay, that's that's interesting. That's an upgrade, so you equip that. Skull. He's in my current deck. Assault three. Before it attacks, deal three damage. Uh, after an enemy creature is destroyed by Skull's assault damage, give a friendly creature a plus one counter. Ragwog. Again, it's hit and miss is this one. After a creature reaps, if it's the first time a creature reaps this turn, deal two damage. So to gain resources, you have to damage yourself or the opponent does it. Little Rapskull, he is annoying just as his flavour text says there. And they said I was annoying. Elusive takes um, no damage. The first time the creature is attacked each turn, it takes no damage. But creatures must fight when used, which means no creatures can be used to reap. So no, no creatures can be used to gain resources while he's on the field. So the enemies want to get rid of him. Stun a creature on each of its neighbours. Very good. Tremor. So two tremors. Mog Hunter is a giant, deal 2 damage to a flank creature on play, or on fight, sorry. Aya Staff, really good artifact, uh, gain an amber. Enrage a creature, give that creature a plus 1 power token. And a second Aya Staff, and the final one, uh, an action card, gain an amber. On play, deal 4 to a flank creature. If this damage if this damage destroys a creature, its controller loses an amber. Interesting, that is a very interesting deck. So, that is, if I just put that there... Xanth Jagwheel's Officer. Now, the next deck, let's take a look at it. Okay, Yara Substicorp from the Boar's Capital. You are up. So we will put that uh, wrong one. There we go. There's the deck list. We get rid of that one. Okay, so we are starting with Untamed. So both of these decks have got Untamed. We have Mimicry. Action card. When you play this card, treat it as a copy of an action card in your opponent's discard pile. Okay, that is cool. Uh, Mab the Mad. Gain an amber. It's a creature, so you gain an amber for a creature. Interesting. Uh, on reap, shuffle mab into your deck. Next, we have an upgrade, so you equip these to monsters. Creature gains uh, fight, gain one amber. Unsuspecting prey, that is an action card. On play, deal two damage up to... Deal two damage to up to three undamaged creatures. I like that. Next, we have unnatural selection. Choose three creatures and three enemy creatures. Destroy everything else. So it's kind of... It's like a mini board wipe if you've but if you if your opponent's got a lot of creatures, they end up with only three. Uh, Tantadlin, really good. Nine power. Very, very good blocker, but only deals two when fighting. So it's hard to get off the field. Uh, when it fights, discard a random card from your opponent's archives. Really cool. Uh, Morphin, we uh, yeah, we saw that in the in the other deck. We have key charge. Uh, lose a number. If you do forge a key at current cost. That's very good because you can normally only forge a key at the beginning of a turn, but that allows you to do it any, at any point in your turn if you have enough amber. Uh, imprinted Mermook, we had that in the last one. Deepwood Druid, now that's a new one. Um, deploy, enter the battle line uh, anywhere. On play and reaping, fully heal a neighbouring creature. That is really cool. Bramble Lynx. Uh, it's got Skirmish. And if you have used a creature to reap this turn, Bramble Lynx enters play ready. So you want to reap with someone first, then throw him straight into the field. Because when a creature comes onto the field, they are exhausted. They have to be on the field for a turn before they're ready. Uh, same again, another Bramble. That's all of those. Ooh, right, we're on to Saurians. I'm looking forward to this. Auto Legionary Artifact. Put Auto Legionary on a flank of your battle line. While in the battle line, it is considered a creature with five power and belongs to all houses. Damn, I like that. Uh, Philophosaurus, uh, creature, on reap, you may look at the top three cards of your deck. Archive one, add one to your hand and discard one. That is interesting. Like, because in this game, when, when your deck runs out, you don't you don't lose the game. You just reshuffle it. Uh, Tricerion Legionary, I have this in my current deck at the minute. Uh, creature, five power, one shield. Got taunts, that means neighbours can't be attacked. So as the, the characters, the creatures next to it in the battle line. 
they're immune to attacks, you've got to hit this. And on player, ward a friendly creature, which means give a creature a ward token, makes them immune from pretty much everything. Uh, same again, two of those, very good. Uh, Thero Centurion, on play and fight, capture an amber, very good. Uh, Retagalim, really good card, got it in my current deck. Uh, your opponent's keys cost three more to, to create, that which is nuts. And then when you reap it, you may exalt it, which means take an amber from the uh, public pool, put it on this creature. You can make those keys cost more every time you reap. But if that creature leaves the field, any amber on it goes to your opponent. Two of those, very good. Questa Jata, elusive. Exalt, again, put one on him to gain an amber. Uh, Phalanx Strike, it is an action card, gain an amber. Choose a creature, deal one to it for each friendly creature. Now, that is really good if you've got a big battle line. Uh, Legatus Raptor, when it fights, you may exalt it, so put an amber on it. If you do, ready and use another creature, so you could fight with him. Exalt him, use a creature you've already used. Imperial Scutum, um, upgrade, gain an amber. This creature gets plus two armor and gains destroyed. Move each amber on this creature to the common supply. So normally, any amber on a creature goes to your opponent when it's killed or leaves play, but that allows it to go back to the common pool. Uh, Brutidon Auxiliary, very good card. Taunt, really cool. Hazardous too, so when it's attacked, it deals two first. And we are on to House Dis. These are like the toxic ones, the putrid ones, the vile ones. On play, destroy each creature with odd power. So anything with 1, 3, 5, 7, all the way up, just dies. That's amazing. Three Fates action card. Gain an amber. Destroy the three most powerful creatures. Double-edged sword again. Uh, action, enrage a creature. That's an artifact. Really good. Two of those even. Wow. Not finished with you. Shuffle any number of creatures from your discard pile into your deck. On play. That is very good. Misery Exploit, gain an amber for each damaged enemy creature. Really good again, double for that. Um, Etarome, Demon, uh, Reap, destroy a creature of the house with the most creatures in play. Nice, two of those as well, three of those, holy heck. Uh, Dendrix, Demon, uh, when you fight your opponent discards a card from their hand at random, very good. And the final card of this deck is Buzzle, gain Skirmish, play or fight. You may purge one of Buzzle's neighbours. If you do, ready Buzzle. Wow. So you could have a row of stuff you can't use. Uh, purge them. So get rid of them from the game. If you do, ready him. So you could constantly use him a few times. That's that's pretty interesting. That's really cool. That is a cool deck. Very, very happy with the decks of this uh, starter set. I'm going to register those to my Keyforge Master. I'm going to sleeve them up. And I'm going to prepare for some battles with some of the locals down at the store. But my friends... Thank you so much for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed this. And if you would like more Keyforge videos, let me know. I'll, uh, I'll give you just a little bit of a taste of what, what there is to come for down at the uh, the store. We're trying to get some uh, some Keyforge community and some, some friendly battles. But if that doesn't take off, I've got all of these to open. Holy heck, all unique decks. Can you imagine the madness inside these? Well, that's for another time, my friends. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you again very, very soon.